Hey, it's James Glass. I'm going to show you how to use a bearing separator. So I'm doing the uh, wheel bearings on my car and um, they're all press fit. So sometimes when the wheel bearing comes out of the steering knuckle, it comes out in two pieces when you press the hub out. So some of the bearing gets stuck in the knuckle, which you can see here. And then some of the bearing gets stuck on the hub, which you see here. And I'm going to be reusing this hub, obviously. So I need to get that half of the bearing out. So this thing that I've mounted around the bearing, this clamp device is called a bearing separator. And you can put it on the back side of the bearing and clamp it right on the hub like that. And you, you can buy these things um, at any of your local parts places. Um, they range in price from $30 to $100, depending on what you get. But now you have to support it. So you need more than just this bearing separator. You need some kind of a cylinder, which I happen to have this large piece of, of steel pipe here. Um, and then obviously you're going to need a press. Right? Okay. So once you throw the bearing separator on the bearing in question and support it on the hub, you can press the hub through. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw some old towels, shop rags and whatnot down into my, this piece of pipe is so large, I can't really get my hand in there to catch the hub as it falls because when I push down on the hub, uh, and separate it from the rest of the bearing, I'm not going to be able to grab that hub and I don't want to damage the threads on my, um, I don't want to damage the threads on my, on my lugs. Okay. All right. So I have this bearing separator supported completely. I've got each corner here nicely supported and I'm going to take just a impact socket and sorry, I'm filming alone. I just got my phone here. Line this up. I want to line up the, the press. So I press it out nice and straight. that lined up real good. Yep. And I got, I got it all set up and now you can use the bearing separator. So what's going to happen is that noise is normal. The bearing separator is holding onto the bearing while I press the hub down through. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And there's the piece of shit old bearing and seal, right? The half of it. And uh, here is the hub I want. And there's my hub, ready to be cleaned up and reinstalled in the knuckle.